San Antonio, Texas for the final round of the Valero Texas Open, one of the longest standing tournaments on the PGA Tour. Martin Piller moving into position after three rounds from off the green at the fourth, holding that. He would have a chance for his first tour title, but would give up a couple of shots late in his day. Charlie Hoffman also looking to challenge for a win, working the fourth, this from 21 feet away. That would take him to nine under par. Hoffman looking to undo some of those poor performances from Sunday's past. Ricky Barnes, 229 starts on tour without a win, but he came into Sunday at the top of the leaderboard and set up well at the fourth. Barnes unable to keep things going though. Patrick Reed getting into the picture with a nice pitch at the fifth. And he would set himself up for a birdie from there and Reed would get to 10 under. Hoffman looking to get to double digits as well. This his second at the 11th, 139 yards. Pin cut just over that ridge and Hoffman within seven feet, he would make the birdie to get to 10 under. Now, working with the lead from off the green at the par five 14th, leaves it just below the hole and he would make that putt to get to 11 under par. Patrick Reed, nine under at 15, just off the edge of the green. This a left to right putt, tracking, and Reed makes that one from 23 feet away to get back to 10 under par. Now at 18, he tried to reach in two just off the edge. He's one down to Hoffman, so a nice pitch. This could run into the cup for Eagle, but it comes up just short. Look at Reed's reaction, so a tap in birdie is certain, but the pressure now on Charlie Hoffman. Up by one, but needs to make this birdie. And Hoffman answers as he takes it to 12 under par with a finishing four at 18. He wins his fourth tour title as we move on to the Zurich Classic of New Orleans. Thursday's opening round coverage, noon Eastern on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio, Golf Channel at 3.